running and gunning, jumping and shooting. We're talking about action platformers. The Blue Bomber's second outing on the NES, and one of the most action-packed solo or duo shooters. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which video game moves forward in our tournament. It's Mega Man 2 vs. Contra on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Contra vs. Mega Man. We're talking about running and gunning, boys. We're talking about shooting things. Little, little balls that come out of the screen and fly. Little bad lim- guys. What do you prefer, the little Mega Man lemons or yes. the or the spread shot? Spread shot. Spread shot is and spread, spread shot, shot okay. wins all the time, every time, every single time. Of course, we we put these these two games together because why would you not put these two games together? They're they're technically sh- basically the, the first same game. They're ba- yeah, they're around. basically action. They're both shooting action platformers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, Mega Man Two is of course the sequel to Mega Man One, and it is considered to be probably the best one on the NES. Yeah. Um, and Contra, I think everyone knows Contra was actually an arcade game. That it got, was. It got ported to the NES, uh-huh. and it. It's a really good port, and, and you know there was a lot of arcade ports on the NES, and some of them weren't that great. But this one, I'm not gonna say it was better than the arcade, but yeah. it was really good. Hmm. I don't know. So how are we gonna start this? We're gonna start this. You don't have your notes right oh, here. Oh no, I don't have my notes. I forgot my notes. They're over there. All uh, right, it's okay. Visual. Visuals. I think that Contra is probably a better looking. I think this. Is. Like, they're both really good looking. They yeah, both yeah, look yeah. great. I like the sprite work with Mega Man. I like that little kind of like similar. Chibi style that all the characters have. Yeah. Um, and then also some all of the effects, the like throwing like the the blasts, or throwing the metal blades, the the little leaf shield that you get from Woodman. Remember yeah. Woodman? He's made of wood. I don't know why you select that. He's it's made like of wood. <laughs> he's made of wood. But uh, also, also, I, I would like to say I can't remember off the top of my head if, if Contra has the same problem. But Mega Man sometimes will have so much stuff happening on screen that you'll kind of you'll, you'll not just framey, but you'll get some of that weird artifacting with the pixels. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like when you use like um, the crash bomber. I, I I remember this more in Contra though because like especially in that first level when you because that's the thing visually about Contra that's striking is I go back to a lot of these NES games uh, when we talked about I just went back and, and watched our video about uh, Final Fantasy versus Legend of Zelda and that was one of the big things is like Final Fantasy even though it's a turn-based game. Like visually, like on the overworld, looked a lot more appealing. The graphics were better. The pixel density looked like it was more. And I think that's the same thing to say with Contra. I think, I think Contra a lot more stuff in the background. That I think Contra. I think like I'm, I'm thinking of the boss fights specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of those those sprites. They, although they don't move a lot, like yeah. they don't come after you. They're a lot like static they're images. Fixed, yeah. But they're big and they're blown up and they're really detailed. Mm-hmm. So I think I think you're right. The it's animation the, of the brothers jumping. Are they brothers? No. no. Yeah, they're dudes. Bill Riser did we, and... Did we and, agree that it was Stallone and Arnold? Oh, it's, to, it's 100%. Stallone that's 100%. That's 100%. Brandon, put the image up. Put yeah, the image up. There right. it is. That's totally... Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at these two. Yeah. That's that's Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Yeah. He's, Studio. Studio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotta, gotta go. Come on! Let's talk about story. Yeah. Story! Uh, uh the, aliens. Hey. Who, I still don't know who we're killing in Contra. Who, who needs it? Well, Aliens. Well, still all right, Red, Aliens. Red Falcon. Red Falcon is the bad guy. Yeah. And he's sending bad guys after you. Hey, yes. who needs a story? Here's a gun. Yeah. Here's a gun. <laughs> Pick him up by a gun. Here's a gun. Go shoot him. Yeah. Uh, and Mega Man, Mega Man does have like... He's got a little better story, I guess. Maybe. I think they're about one. If we're talking, I think they... I mean, with Mega Man, it's like, hey, it's Dr. Wily. He made eight robot masters. Go fight him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, defeat that's, Dr. The, Wally, extent, defeat that's the extent of most stories. Doctor Wowie, yes. Anyway, Doctor Wowie, and the Waydaw Womb. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I think the story's about. I think it's like kind of flat for both of those. Like, I think that's a draw. Like, if, if we yeah. had to compare between these two, that's a draw. Definitely there's, a draw. There's really 100. There's there's not really any. You know, like, none's better than the other. Person. What do you think about audio? Oof. Mm, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I'm Mega trying Man to go back. Mega, Mega Man's Man got some pretty iconic noises. There, pew, 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 you know, it's the music though. Mega yeah, Man Two, Mega Man yeah. 2's music is mm-hmm. best, top class on the NES. You can't you deny. probably hear it right now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You can't deny. Wily's Castle, remind me, is that from two? Yes. Or how about that intro? That intro. Come on, dude. Yeah. I, we don't think that. But Con- I'm, I'm Contra's not, got good music, but compared up to Mega Man, I think. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Contra's got some good music. It does. Contra's got some good music. You got some bangers. Mm-hmm. It does. It does. They got, <laughs> there's some. There's some metal, some metal covers of Contra's music. They got some really bangers. Good. Yeah. 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 It's really good music. But dude, I think this, this, these are. 
really hard to compare. I think Mega Man just has the edge. Just the edge of a little. I agree. A, a, a slight. I do. I do. Slight I think edge. I like Contra style. closer than the experts think. Who says the experts? We are. With it. I don't oh, know. okay. I was just <laughs> I, I'd like the sound effects of Mega Man better. I think. Yeah. I like, like the Steve like spread shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't um, go wrong. Can't yeah. Uh, gameplay. This is really. This is kind of the. Ooh. This is the big part. This, look Ooh. at those hands. I did, have you noticed that I always zoom in on our, our hands? hands? I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna stick my pockets to this. <laughs> yeah. I have to. I have Steve, to. Steve, it's always when Steve does his his final it's, thing. It's always here. It's, it's, here. it's when you touch. It's when he you touch. The, the, he gets. Bah, he gets bah. thing from the Adams family. I purposely. I purposely. <laughs> He's doing so self conscious now. I, it's whenever you touch. Well, the lost raptor. It's whenever you guys touch the. Or I even do it sometimes, but I'm a little bit wary of it. Bah. Sorry. It, it's when, we got off the rails. There's a zoom. Way off the rails. <laughs> There's a zoom. <laughs> I love the zoom. But man. it's whenever you touch perfect. the table and it makes yeah. noise. But anyways, okay, yeah. uh, gameplay. Uh, these Ooh. biggest our biggest differentiator Mega is, Man. is that Mega Man levels. Mega Man changing. Mega Man is single player. Mm -hmm. Contra oh, yeah. has Contra. multiplayer. Yeah, that's a big deal. I think that gives Contra a little bit of an edge so yeah, far. Definitely. Agreed. But More also, upset. I think Mega Man from uh, a technical standpoint. There's a couple of like design flaws in my personal opinion. Oh, I actually went back. Oh. I went back after we, we had to refilm this, right? Mm -hmm. I went back and I, I kind of like. Yeah, I went and rewatched it. Yeah, and I remembered some things about Mega Man Two we didn't quite talk about last time. Like there are certain like obstacles that you need certain weapons that you yeah. Need okay, and if you use them all, it, it you're basically soft locking and you, you have to kill yourself. Yeah, so you have to exactly. restart the level and, mm. and, and not use it. Mm. And I think that's a problem. Yeah, uh, it's not. It's not a lot. But like, there's even a bad guy, uh, the the last boss that you have to hit with a very specific weapon. If you hit him with any other weapon, his health bar completely refills. But if you didn't know that going forward, yeah. you used all. It's the bubble, the uh, bubble man's attack. If you use all the bubbles, then you're, you're screwed. You're you know, SOL. You, you got to get killed and you got to restart. Yeah, right. Uh, and now there is a password system in Mega Man, so you can you know continue and restart. Ooh, you just brought up something. Whereas Contra, you kind of have to go back to the beginning. But wait a minute, I was just, I was talking about passwords. Talk about passwords, the, but the but, most iconic. This thing, thing. But but it's not a password. Cheat, cheat code. A cheat code. Konami, Konami does have the Konami code mm -hmm. on Contra, which is a, it might be the first appearance. I don't know. The most iconic code. Who doesn't know that code? I mean, these days, I don't know. The kids might not know the code. Yeah, probably not. But it's pretty iconic. I thought that you can, would rather be a select art. You can. My son has the Fisher Price controller. Yeah, if you put the Konami code in there, it plays like a little Mario ish yeah. jingle. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I forgot why Nintendo didn't iconic go after Fisher Price. Cheat code they or probably don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fisher Price might be. Or Konami. Well, Konami's probably too bored. Is Fisher Price a bigger company than, than Nintendo? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. no. The Nintendo? No. No, no, no indeed. Right. Um, Who owns that code? That's gotta be Konami. Well, I don't Konami. think anybody really owns just, it. Yeah. Because it's just a bunch of his inputs, and they didn't, unless they copyrighted it. But Steve's that's legal, Steve's legal ticket. Copy, copy wrote. Is that a word? Co copyright protection. Oh, anyways. Also, gameplay wise, that's they, both of these games are super punishing. Both yeah, these games are I super punishing. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I think Contra is a little more punishing than. Definitely. Than, than, I, I think Contra almost. I beat these in. Contra almost Maybe isn't too. fun mm -hmm. if you're playing it by yourself. Well, you know? that's also... We, we made that point with something yeah. else. With uh, Techno Ball, I think it was. It's like, yeah, it's way more tech, fun with and, and, and But I still think... I think I think Contra's still way more viable to play a uh, single player than... Yeah, than it's play. still fine. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not saying... I'm not saying it's... it's Well... It, uh, the the no, thing is... is that it's these, that much harder. Because he, both these games are scrollers... I think the problem is is that like they throw stuff that you can't really react to and you have to memorize it a lot. Yeah. And Mega Man is really infamous, infamous about that, like with the part with the lasers that come off the screen mm -hmm. or uh, the environmental stuff. Platforms. And then they have like a lot of insta kill walls that you can touch and just instantly die. Yeah. And it, it it just it incentivizes you to, to memorize it, which we've talked about, that's kind of the replay value of yesteryear. And, but talking about them now, I I don't like that. Yeah. I, but at the same time, uh, Mega Man has way better platforming. No, I agree. The platform is the, definitely better. On the flip Contra's side, got some neat levels. It's you know, you've got that level where you go forward, behind the back. Yeah, you go through the hallway. Right. Um, that's also a good one. Um, yeah. But also, man, what, what do you think is more satisfying? Like, like, do you think it's more satisfying to finish a level in, in Mega Man, like to to run a, run across mm. through a whole level, or like with 
Contra, you're constantly having to duck and jump. I think Contra's more yeah. almost the Dark Souls element of like, yeah, ooh, that was tough. Like, or you see yeah. the little laser, and you're like, I don't want the laser, I don't want the laser, I want the yeah, spread. Do you, spread, spread, spread. you want to keep that spread gun? Yeah. And that's another thing is that like you constantly, has, uh, you constantly have a, unlimited ammunition in Contra, mm -hmm. so it kind of incentivizes you to experiment with the different weapons and find out what you like. Because even though the laser, we talk about the laser being the worst one, it's still not that bad. No, no. But no. where Mega Man, unless you're using the metal blades, because the metal blades you can, they're, they're infamous for having like almost an untapped amount of ammunition. But Man. other ones, like the, like I mentioned before, like the bubble gun or whatever, you kind of like, you have those weapons on you, and if you're playing it and you know what you're doing, you're like, I'm not going to use any of my weapons. Or you don't know what you're doing, you're just like, I'm not going to use any of my weapons because I don't want to get, you know, I don't, I don't know what the last boss is going to be weak against. Yeah. Now, if you know going forward, then it's not a problem, but... Well, as a kid, I'm going back to, to Kid Jacob in that time, and you know, just, you got a toy, you played with it. Like, you yeah, play exactly. Yeah. You, you, get, you get the bubble weapon, and you want to go use it on everything and see yeah, what it does. Exactly. Right. But if you're squandering your ammunition, you get to the end of the level, and you got to fight the person who's weak against the bubble. I can't remember who it is on top of my head. Then you're screwed. What do we think is more revolutionary? As you, sorry. <laughs> what do you think Autumn, is Autumn more, from AT&T's texting. What do, you, what do you think is more revolutionary? Uh, well, let me, let me, all right. Because my first, my gut let me float you, is saying, let me, let me Mich float. Mich Michigan man, Michigan, Michigan man. Let me, wow, let me, let me let's say. talk about an awful game, right, Michigan buddy. man. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. see him throwing tires from his belt. Hey, well, I mean, <laughs> if Mega Man kills Michigan man, does he, does he get his power to throw tires? Oh, yeah, tires from his belly. Oh, do I need a Photoshop? You said Michigan man, I thought you were talking about Michigan man. the tires get bounce all over the screen. I was thinking of a guy, of the state of Michigan's superhero or something. You probably think football. Well, you did say Michigan. No, no, he no, said no. I thought you were going to make a football reference. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, you're That's right. Not, I really wasn't you do going like football. football. I do like football, but I wasn't going to. Wow, wow listen. I was thinking more of Detroit. He didn't. He okay, didn't. got it. I no, thinking, no, that guy. thinking more of Detroit. Uh, all right, well, let me float you an idea about Mega or Man. Or Kid Rock. Mega Man 2 essentially uh, has a little bit of a development history. I don't know if you know this, but Mega Man 1 didn't perform so well. Yeah, it didn't. And Mega Man 2 kind of saved the franchise, only for Mega Man 3 to kind of undo it a little bit. But Mega Man 2 was, yeah. was worked on, from what I understand, it was worked on as a side project on the Capcom team because they're like, oh, Mega Man, it didn't do so well. And they to show you kind of the passion that they poured into it. So from a revolutionary standpoint, it mm. it's not it didn't revolutionize the console, I but so, it yeah. did keep the series, Mega Man the, the series, series alive. Yeah. Now Contra, ah. I, I'd be willing I, I, I'd be willing to say that Contra is more iconic as an NES game specifically than Mega Man 2 is, yeah. but I, I can't, I don't know if I can draw the line between the it's revolution. It's tough, it really so, is. So that, that kind of moves us to the next one, is what would you think is the more represents, more represents the, the, the console itself, and I think you just nailed it. I think I mentioned that in the, uh, yeah. the Rewinded episode, is like, I think Contra peaked either on the NES or the SNES. It's like, you picked in high school. Like It's pretty good on Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah. Vu, we're having the, the same conversation. Yeah, the NES or the SNES. But in these, those two console heydays, like after that, you really don't hear much more about Ooh, Contra. Man, both of these franchises kind of hit and I hit lows, didn't they? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, Contra especially. I would yeah. go as far to say I think Contra is a little more iconic for the NES than it is for the uh, the, the Contra Super Contra for the SNES. And uh, Super Contra for the SNES is a great game. I concur. Um, I so concur. I think it has to go to Contra on that regard. When yeah, it comes to, I think so. I concur. And, and, and that sucks because it's Mega Man. It's, it's Mega freaking really Mega Man. Mega Man's really um, good. Yeah. There's no Contra Man on Smash Bros. I hate that we use Smash Bros. as this, as this ruler for the S and for the Nintendo series, yeah. but there is a Mega Man. Yeah, but yeah. well, that's a good that's a good that's a good way to tell though, because I mean, yeah. if we make it to a Smash Bros. roster, obviously you know yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta be pretty, you gotta be pretty iconic. To oh, that is a Smash Trophy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Poor Waluigi. Mm. Poor one out for Waluigi. Yeah. Um, what was our other question? Uh, um, does it stand the test of time? They re-released Mega Man 2 like a million times. People love that game. Yeah. yeah. But I think you can still pick up Contra. But Contra is also really good. Contra was punishing go, as a kid. Is it still punishing now? It's, it's still fun. Game. It's still fun. I'd be willing to say that. I don't know. I think that's another draw. I think, they kind of, I think it's another draw. Those are both really good games. Yeah. I think the biggest thing. I think the biggest plus that Contra has over Mega Man is multiplayer. Mm. I really, I really think it is. Yeah. Is it time? Is it time to vote? I think it's time. Did we, did, oh man, it's already 15 minutes. Oh. I think I'll start. I think I think man, I hate that I keep using this as my my really big like trumping 
um, barometer. Barometer, but like I just think of like that roster that that what makes it iconic for that platform. And I know we kind of said it was kind of tied, but I don't know, man. I think I, I go back to the the contra peaked in high school. Contra peaked on NES. I think that contra has to edge it out just a little bit more in the visual department. Just a game. So, it's, so it's if, tough. If, you're, if you're talking about a wavelength, right? Yeah, I'm doing it this way so the viewers can see. If you're talking about a wavelength, and, and Mega Man and, and Contra's popularity and iconicness is going side by side. Mm -hmm. Whenever they both on the NES go like this, and then they, they kind of, and then Contra goes, and then Mega Man goes, and then Mega Man comes back up, and then goes again, and then goes up again, and then goes <laughs> again. Whenever they, that first big spike, you think Contra's was higher. Yeah. I think that's the best way yeah. to kind of visually. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So your vote is Contra. Yeah. So you're voting Contra. Can, can I go next? Go next. It's tough. <laughs> it is. It's very I'm tough. Like, I'm like, I, I can say go either way. I'm going. I'm going with the blue bomber. I'm going with Mega All Man. Right. I'm going with Mega Man. That music yeah, is it's really. Is tough that music is that. really good. Yeah. That mm. I just I I, I, I see myself. One. I I want to vote for Contra, mm. but I see myself voting for Contra, and and regretting not voting for Mega Man, yeah. because I I love I love him. I love Mega Man. He's I mean, sitting right there. Look, he's on the shelf. If I'm gonna talk about my my favorite Mega Man games of all time, yeah, the side scrolling, side scrolling. I mean, X is number one. Yeah, but Mega Man Two's in that top it's five. A, yeah, I would agree. I think Mega Man Two's in that top agreed. five. Agreed. Yeah, if we're talking about all Mega mm. Man games, put Legends yeah. in there. I'm a weirdo. I'm yeah. a weirdo, but I'm voting. Da -da -da -da. Mega, I'm going Mega Man. Da -da -da -da. Steve, no pressure. What do you vote for, Steve? I gotta be the tiebreaker. Yep. All right. So, I mean, this one was a really, really really razor thin margin. I mean, yeah. they're both. That's how I feel they're too. They're both really great. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. You know, it's just it's. You know, <laughs> it's like it's like I can see myself voting for one, and then just changing it the next changing day. Changing it. The That's next exactly day. how I feel. It's yeah. pretty much exactly what I said. You know, I mean, it's just it's like you know. Honestly, out of all of these, really, these, just, these are very. I mean, we we put them on this bracket for a reason. Like exactly. it was a no brainer to put these exactly, two. exactly, and 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 you know. It's just there's one thing that I think I'm gonna go with that sets it apart. <laughs> You're so close from to my the eyes. other. And maybe in an alternate reality, I, I, maybe in an alternate reality, I the pick. The suspense I is pick killing it. me. What are you voting? And I gotta go with Contra. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and the reason for yes. Contra is yes. because the multiplayer. Yeah, I, I can't I argue. Gotta that. go with the multiplayer because the multiplayer exponentially increases the replayability of the game because the thing is is that when you it, 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 a, for a single player for a single player game to really draw you back especially in the NES days yeah. it's got to be really good you know it's got to be it's got to be really good you'll get those moments every now and then where you're like I want to play through Zelda again I want to yeah. play through Mario again but like contra you don't have to have those moments to, to go back to. You could just say, I want to play a multiplayer game. Contra's a multiplayer game. I have game. a question. Fire that thing I have up. a question. Would you be willing to say that Contra is probably one of the best multiplayer games, like two-player games on the NES as I a think whole? so. I agree. I'm so. looking at this list. Yeah, I think now, so. Now, maybe... I think it might be the best... I'm looking at the list as well. Yeah. I think this might be the best co-op game on the list. Now, maybe in an alternate reality, I may have picked Mega Man. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Stephen King because you're the master of suspense. Maybe, sir. <laughs> but this time, just I'm, you know, my gut is telling me Contra because of that multiplayer. That multiplayer. I can't, really I can't, I can't argue with that. Me. I mean, I can't be mad at that. I, I mean, I was much as I want Mega Man to win. I'm sorry, I tried, I tried. Call Doctor Strange in here. Maybe there's a portal to the multiverse. You can pull multiverse Steve out. Contra wins. <laughs> I guess two guns are better than one. Contra moves forward as our winner. What did you think about that? Tell us in the comments down below, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share the show with everyone you know. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.